Hey guys, Sean here with SE Shirts and Hoodies, and today I'm gonna to tell you exactly how much money I made in my first month pressing t-shirts with absolutely no experience and using only my vinyl cutter and my heat press. All right guys, so before we get into exactly how much money I made in my first month pressing t-shirts, I wanna start out by saying why I'm starting this channel. So I'm starting this channel because I've learned so much from YouTube, whether it be pressing shirts, learning how to use Adobe, anything that has to do with shirts, I pretty much learned off YouTube. And I wanna reciprocate that and I wanna give that back to somebody that might need the help. Um, another big reason why I'm starting this channel is because you know I've, I've watched every video from Charlie Pangas, uh, Kenyan can, uh, Ray is the entrepreneur, people that I felt like had experience in this industry. And sometimes when you reach out to these people, they don't want to help you. And I don't feel like that that's right. Especially when I'm subscribing to your channel, I'm watching every video, watching every commercial, I'm helping you grow, but you ain't helping me grow. So you ain't reciprocating what, what people are giving to you. So that's the reason why I'm starting this channel. I want to motivate somebody. I want to show people uh, what works for me, what doesn't work for me, the issues I've been through, the equipment I've bought. As you can see, I've invested my money. I never took anything out of the business, and this business has only been around for a few months. So I'm hoping that you guys can use this and grow from it. Now, how I got into this business is pretty crazy. It was based on an opportunity. Long story short, I worked for a company that are looking for some hoodies. Everywhere I called, they were just way too expensive. I ended up watching some videos by Ray the Entrepreneur saying you could start a home business making shirts for under $500. I bought into it. Um, I ended up ordering a heat press and a vinyl cutter and watching YouTube videos. And he gave me the opportunity, which came with a couple of his friends that needed some more hoodies and came with more opportunity. And that's exactly how I got into it. So that's the long, that's the short version of everything. So let's just get into the money because I know that's what everybody's waiting for. So I wrote down everything. And before I get into these numbers, I want to tell you something that I feel is important. So when I actually put the money up for the equipment, which was around $1,300, I took that as a loss. I knew that I was going to continue doing shirts. I knew I was going to continue cutting vinyl, uh, decals, stickers, uh Whatever the case may be, I knew I was going to keep using it to make more money. I was going to use it as a side hustle. And the first money that I spent, I already took it as a loss. So I knew that I wasn't going to take, if I was going to grow this business and keep going and keep going and keep trying to get more equipment and eventually own a storefront, then I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get that money back out the gate. So I wanna make that clear before I go through any of these numbers because these numbers are just based on the orders that I got and how much money I actually made. So in total, off three orders, you guys might think I'm lying, but I'm not. Off three orders, it was 196 hoodies. I have one order for 106 hoodies, which I charged them 2,700 for. I had another order for 60 hoodies and I charged them 1,800. The last order that I had within the first month was an order for 30 hoodies and I charged them 350. So in total, I got 4850 for all three of them orders. Minus the hoodies, I spent 1700 on hoodies and I spent 350 on vinyl. So I spent $2,050 just on the hoodies and the vinyl. So at the end of the day, my real profit was 2850, so $3,000. What I did with this $3,000, as you guys can see, I just bought a DTG. So I'm gonna make it work, I'm gonna make some more money, and then I'm gonna reinvest it. And I just want you guys to know that you could do this too. I'm gonna teach you guys the marketing that I do that works for me. I'm gonna teach you guys um, how to build websites. I'm gonna try to show you guys everything that I've learned so far in these upcoming videos. Uh, let me know if you guys like it, like, subscribe. 
Um, I'm going to keep putting out videos. I'm going to treat this uh, like a business. I'm going to keep going forward. And if you guys ever need any help, reach out to me. We're on Instagram, SE underscore uh, SE shirts and hoodies or SE underscore shirts and hoodies. Uh, we're on YouTube. You could uh, email me at SE dot shirts and hoodies spelled out and at gmail.com. And I'll get back to you. If you guys need help, you guys need help with suppliers, how to get uh your EIN number, how to get sales tax. If you guys need any help with anything, reach out to me and I'm gonna help you. I'm not gonna leave you guys dry. And if it takes me a couple days to get back to you, then so be it. But I'm gonna help you guys out. I hope that this uh, video inspires somebody else that's maybe on the fence, whether or not they should start it, whether or not they should, they shouldn't. And you know, keep pushing forward. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do nothing because you're your worst enemy. If you believe that you can't do it, you ain't ever gonna be able to achieve it. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next video.